am so sorry. The first thing that hits you is my face. And I promise it is not a horror film. So I have for 19 months done all sorts of things for my window. This one started out, um, I had black foam board cut. It was a pain. It just wouldn't fit right. Then I tried reflectives with a beautiful ocean view and duct tape the sides to make it fit better. It'd fall out. Um, I, it was so huge I had no place to store it because um, I couldn't fold it. I tried the curtain, which I really liked, but the curtain rod was starting to droop. People could see me in here. And when I'd go to get my refrigerator at night, it would I'd pull on it. And it was just starting to frustrate me. So I think I found my solution for the back window and my pop-up windows. Stay tuned. So here is what I have done for my back windows. Voila. Those on each side is that black contact craft paper. And I can remove this when I'm driving. It can lay right on my fruit. Reader, it doesn't bug me. Um, I can get light, so if I'm just parked through the day, especially in the winter, and want to get some sunlight in here. Nice thing about it, I can do it from the outside or the inside. And if I want to have a little bit of light, I can just set it in a different position so I can see what's going on. So at night, I can pull it down a little bit and see if there's noise around me if anybody's around. I do got to put duct tape around the edges so it don't rip the paper but it's the foam board from Dollar Tree. Um, you could do all sorts of things. You could make it a chalkboard. Um, you could draw art on it. Use it as a cork board. Um, there's a lot of things you could do. I think I might just leave it black and put some fairy lights around it. Now, this is my pop-up window. The other side is completely done. The screen and that. This is what I bought at, guess where, Dollar Tree for a buck. Or a buck twenty-five. And one roll does a window plus some left over. So I've already gone through and cleaned it. Um, that's important. And then it's just cutting it. And as you guys know, I don't measure. So let's get her done. And there's the finished product. Um, it just works great. Now, you could do like a peephole, wherever you want, cut like a little circle, and then have Velcro or something over it. I decided I didn't want that much work. I don't. I want to be able to park someplace at night, put up my front window reflectives, crawl in, and relax. I don't want to have to do a lot of work if I need to leave or in the morning when I am leaving. So, in this case, for me, less is more. Now, it took me three rolls of this, and this is what I had left over. But if you're a little bit more measure, I just, it looks like a, a really bad quilt. But the nice thing about it, the sun's coming through, you can't see. 
if I did a good job or a bad job. Now, one thing I am going to tell you, learn from my mistakes. I do this so it's easier for you. I use the credit card and it kind of rips it. So you got to put a piece over it. If you use your fingers and your hand, it gets the air bubbles out better than using some kind of a card. Okay, take a little break here. And then we're going to put the screen on the pop-up window. Um, if I can find it. I've been going, here fabric, fabric. I don't know what I did with it. I know it's still in the sack, but the area I put it in, I have no glue. So I gotta find that and then we're gonna get started on that. So my back area and I am so self-contained. Um, I like the convenience of all of this. I found it. It was in with the wigs right where it should have been. Actually, that's just how a 64-year-old brain works. So I got this at Walmart. It's kind of a netting, but it's a soft netting. Um, so no little buggies can get in there. It was $2.97 a yard. I got a yard and a half. It's a little bit much, but I wanted overkill. So it was $4.46 for one piece. I bought them two different times. I wanted to make sure it works. Um, I'll show you how to put them on. It has been a game changer on the other side. The other side's been up for about two weeks. Um... I have left the window open a couple of times going down the highway. It stayed in place. Um, I put, I open and close it. There's no air leaks. I'm getting a breeze through at night with no little bugs from that side. Um, when in, we had one really, really rainy day um, or night and a little bit in the corner where it was bunched up on the inside it got a little damp that's just because it's cloth and it's gonna spread out but there was no leaks no drips throughout the window um so i think after 19 months and four things of trying i figured out my pop-up windows so now i can have them open at night and no bugs and get some really good air okay here's we are at the back part of the pop-out window and like i said i don't know if this is gonna work but we're gonna try it And I'm trying to do is fit as much inside as I can. And then we can move it inside. And we're going to hook it inside for the netting. Slippery might not be as easy as I thought. Okay. So, what I did was went inside and moved, pulled that material through. I want to leave a gap along here so the window can open and close for the airflow. So, as you can see, it's pretty tight. Here, it's not real tight, but it's not baggy. This side is baggy, so I still got more tucking to do, but it's 93 degrees. I'm parked in the sun. It's hot in the van. Um, so what I did was pull this pretty much to that end and then open that door. Let's see if you can see this, what I am doing. 
So I'm pulling that material this way and tucking it in here to get it so it don't look, I don't want it to look crappy from the outside. It's not going to be the neatest. And then what I'll do is take my debit card and tuck it as much as I can in there and then tape the rest with black duct tape. And then we'll go inside. Here it is on the inside. So what I did was pulled the netting through and then I'm tucking it in under the weather stripping. It's not an easy job. I'm using my debit card. Probably not the best thing on the debit card, but it works. Um, I just get a gift card, like, from someplace. And then I'm stuffing it all in here to give it that extra strength and that clean look. And now I have got netting all the way around. I did it with the window open. And then when it's closed, there's going to be a little bit of sagging on the outside. But it will keep all them bugs out. Okay, so up here in the corner, I'm going to have to cut this material because otherwise they can right there. So then I'll cut it and then I can put that up there. Now you may not have to do this. Um, I'm not a measure and I'm just a person that does it and goes as she's going. Yep, that's going to work. So then that corner will be nice and neat too. I know it's really difficult to see. Hard to see. But here's what the outside looks like. You can't really tell. But at night somebody could look in here. So I've just been putting a roll of paper towels up there and it stays. But I'm going to make a little curtain or something. So let's see if you can... Okay, you can see it from this side. So there's a little bit of fabric, um, but not bad. Nobody seems to notice. And how I have it secured in the door frame is right there. So I don't know if you can see the duct tape is holding it. And it's... It's been on there for a couple of weeks. It's doing good. So there's a couple more things I wanted to show for the people that are new. So this is my homemade screen. Black foam board, duct tape, and no CM screen so no bugs can get through. It really needs to be cleaned. It is filthy dirty. Um, but see, you can see there. And then I never have to take them out so you can see I've got it all duct taped right along there so that is my idea and I've had them up for two years with it open and closing and that's how well it works being open and closed this is what it looks like so you can see a couple little lines but even when it's closed, it doesn't say. This has been a godsend because if you park, like if you can, the breeze comes through. You get a really nice breeze at night. The only thing, like I said, when it's open, they can see in that little crack if their face is right. There right now I just stuff a roll of paper towels in there. Nobody can see and it's extra storage. And they do not come out. Uh, paper towels are the perfect thing to shove back in the corner and you still get a breeze. So I'm sure others have thought about this. I've been doing this for a while. I just have not taken the time to show you. 
but this is how I wash articles of clothes if I need something. Um, undergarments, maybe one of my dresses before I go to the laundromat. And I want to wear, like, my tie-dye, I want to wear um, Monday. So, this is how I wash. Just a cheap plunger from Dollar Tree for a buck twenty-five. I put in liquid laundry soap and my foldable bucket. That just really agitates them and gets them clean. Then I change water, rinse, and hang to dry. Also, I wanted to remind you all about the fan. It is amazing. I can feel air moving on my arms holding the camera. It's $20 Amazon. I can't remember the brand, but it's got the blue stripes. It's $19.99. Um, it's not rechargeable. It's got to be plugged into the uh, solar. But I got the little switch right by my side of the bed over there, and it is perfect. Well, I really appreciate the time you gave me. I hope some of these have helped. If you're already on the road or you're building your van out, um, you know, you could make them a little bit fancier than I do. Um, they're aesthetically pleasing pretty much. Um, they could be a little neater, but if I'm happy, that's all that matters. Um, so it's just, it's how I stay cool. Some of the tricks, you know, drinking water, uh, keeping cold water in your fridge, a cool rag. Everybody does those things. I wanted to come out with things that I searched and searched the internet and could not find anything, uh, for screens. It was things that you had to remove and find a place to store and the pop-up windows, there was one lady that sewed them. She did an amazing job. But I don't have a sewing machine. I'm not going to ask my friends when I go back. Um, I've tried several different things in the pop-up windows. This just works. Um, the laundry, in case and somebody's going, okay, how do I wash my clothes? Because they don't get clean. If you wash them out by hand, they don't get clean. That agitating really gets the dirt out. It's just like a washing machine or the ringer washer for us girls that used to use those. And then the ceiling fan, of course, is a definite must. And like I said, I don't like a fan, but this moves air. I've got three little tiny round ones. They die after a couple hours. This just stays plugged into my solar. It uses like three watts an hour. And the switch is by my bed, so if I get cold at night, I can flip it on. But it moves the air, even in the 100-degree weather. It was moving the air. Um, I am so excited about those. So those are four of my big things I wanted to show you. And, of course, my pantry. We can't forget about... I have not seen this on anybody else's van either. Um... I am so excited to have the storage for my food all nice and neat. And I wanted to give you one of my views that I'm sitting. I cook supper and I've been working on the van all day, trying to reorganize, move things around, and of course do the finish up the screens. So again, thank you for your time. I hope some of these tips will help you make your life easier out on the road. In the meantime, travel safe, love endlessly, seize your journey, stay fantastic.